Hey guys, what's up? Tony here. Finally got around to making the video that you guys requested. On my last Honda Ridgeline video, you guys asked how I installed my light bar in the front grill. I'm gonna show you real quick how I did it. Pretty simple. Also, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna show you all the different modifications that I've done on this truck. So stick around throughout the whole video. And if you yourself are interested in a Honda Ridgeline, make sure to check out my video about four videos ago, and I explain what encouraged me to purchase this truck. Let me pop the, pop the hood here. Very simple. Hopefully the camera can see this, but it's literally two industrial zip ties. So what I did um, is take one zip tie and go around this metal member that's right here at an angle in front of the radiator. One zip tie goes around that member. The second is zip tied up and it goes right here with a screw right here in the top of the frame. And it's like that on both sides. Now to keep vibration down, there is a piece of rubber I used literally from a bicycle tire inner tube that I made a couple of wraps around each end. Put the zip ties over that so it kind of acts as a grip and a shock absorber but i could stick my hand down in here and try to move this light bar and it's not going anywhere it's been on there for over what 40 40 000 miles and everything still works just fine so it's a very very inexpensive way to mount a light bar hopefully again the camera is is picking it up but it's two black zip ties they're about uh, I'd say three eighth inches wide and actually now that I noticed this this one's kind of coming apart so it may may need replacing soon so I'll have to spend another dollar now the switch I have let me show you the location of my switch on the interior so right in here in between the heated seat switches I just placed a illuminated toggle switch or not a toggle just a single pole single throw lighted switch right here works fine that's up to you a lot of these light bars um, come with their own switches and wiring kits they're very simple and it holds up well i couldn't remember what size light bar that was but it's about a 30 inch light bar you can't go much bigger than that obviously you could go smaller but i wouldn't go smaller because if you do you're not going to catch those angled metal uh, members to attach the light bar to and have it some you know something rigid for it to hold on to but that's it nothing special super easy so hopefully that gives you guys some ideas and really helps you out so you can light it up i love this light bar on my truck it really really helps um i've also replaced the headlights with some led bulbs but let's get into that now i'm going to talk about a lot of the things that have been done to this truck so you guys stay tuned okay let's start with the engine now i've really done nothing to the engine besides at a can and air filter, I replaced the factory headlights with LED bulbs. Uh, let's see if I can get you the brand Opti 7, O P T I 7. I'll try and put a link uh, in the description to all these different products if they're still available. This has been a while. I've owned this truck a while, so things may have changed. But anyway, if things have been updated, I'll post a link. Headlight changes, the light bar in the front, a K&N air filter. I think that's it for the front. Now let's look at the rims. A lot of you guys were asking about the rims I had on this truck. They are black Rhino hard alloy rims. These are 17 inch rims and I got them wrapped with 245 70 17 Pathfinder tires. Now I am about to upgrade my tires. These are about worn out and I'm thinking about going to Toyos. That's gonna happen here soon, but you guys are asking about the rims. I really like them. I really think it matches this color of this truck and this body style of the truck very well. And funny thing is with the new 2021s, their stock rims kind of resemble these. So. It's kind of cool. I've added some AVS rain guards. I'm using my tape measure here as a pointer. <laughs> uh, AVS rain guards, I always put these on all of my vehicles. I live in Texas. I like to keep my windows cracked in the summertime just a little bit. And if it starts raining for whatever reason, these help protect it. Plus I think it looks cool. Uh, on the top, I have some Yakima crossbars. These I bought from a guy in Arkansas and they were much longer than this originally. I had probably six 
to eight inches more on each side. It was ridiculous. And actually, let me get a measurement. I have cut these down to 69 inches. They stick out about four to five inches. I'm six foot three, and typically I don't hit my head on it. I have done it a couple times, but before it was way out here, and I could carry two Hobie Pro Angler kayaks on top, but I don't need to carry two Hobie Pro Anglers, so I'll cut them down, but I like the way it looks on the truck. It's where I carry all my kayaks and other gears. Other gear, not gears. <laughs> Windows are tinted. Let's go to the back here. I have a tonneau cover. This is the Low Pro Truck Hero from Truxedo. This is about a $600 tonneau cover. I really like it. It's lightweight. It's held up really good even uh, in the sun. I don't park my car in a garage and at work it sits in the sun all day and it really hasn't faded. It uh, has Velcro all the way down the side so you can tighten it up. Simply has a little switch here at the side, clip it, and you can roll it all the way up. And the cool thing about the ridge line is back here by the C pillars, you have this angle. So all you have to do is kind of roll this like that on one side, go around to the other, tuck that side in. And this little cavity here holds the tonneau cover without having to use the straps to go around each side and strap it. Even if you had to do that, it's it's not an issue, but I don't ever mess with it. It rides down the highway just fine, just like that. Also, all of the lights, the two on the C-pillars and the two in the bed of the truck have all been replaced with LED bulbs. Highly recommend that upgrade as well. Okay, so as you can see, I've removed all the Honda Ridgeline badging that's normally right here. I left the four-wheel drive, I thought it looked cool. And this Cavender emblem is where the truck was originally purchased and I thought it looked cool, so I left it on there. Factory brake lights, but I do have the uh, Opti 7 third brake light. I'm gonna open the tailgate here because I have a Honda Ridgeline and it's cool. I love that, that's whatever. This thing is really, really, really bright three rows of LEDs and it, it's tapped into the reverse light. So you have a very bright reverse light as well. It really helps if you're uh, using a backup camera, but it really lights it up and helps that camera to see at night. Or if you're backing up a trailer or you're backing into a driveway at night, uh, that's probably one of my favorite inexpensive upgrades to the truck was that Opti 7 third brake light. I have a exhaust system on here. It is a Magnaflow exhaust. I can't remember the series off the top of my head, but it is the full exhaust. It's the uh, resonator and the muffler with a little performance tip. I'll give you all a little demonstration of how it sounds. Give you a little peek underneath here. There's the Magnaflow resonator. There's the bank one downstream cat. So you got your long pipe, your resonator, and the muffler. Just like on all the ridge lines is right back here, close to the tip. Right there. Does it sound good? I think so. It's not bad. It's a six-cylinder Honda ridge line. Can't expect much. It doesn't sound like a a wild coffee can exhaust, but that's not what I wanted. Would I recommend it? No. Here, I'm gonna hand the camera back to the wife. I like it. It's good in certain situations. I like to have a little ex exhaust note, but to be honest, it's crazy loud at 65 miles per hour. Not outside, inside the cab. And I guess that's because of the resonator. 
not really sure, but it kind of it kind of gets uh, a little overwhelming on long trips. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Head into the interior and I'll show you a few things that I've done inside. Floor mats, of course, WeatherTech floor mats. I've owned them before. They're pricey. I bought these used. I still think they're well worth it for keeping your carpet clean or if you spill something. I mean, as you can see, mine's, mine's doing its job. It's holding a lot of dirt. Love the interior color of this truck. Really goes good with this Amazon green. Kind of carries on inside the truck two tones just a beautiful interior for a 2006 it's very modern and packed with features in my opinion anyway the infamous red honda logo in my steering wheel that you guys were asking about i believe it came off ebay that's about all i could tell you there'll there'll be a link in the description um there's several ones i honestly can't figure out how to see which one i bought i, I hardly use ebay anymore so but i'm almost 99 percent positive that's where it came from and yeah, that's that. Have a awesome, awesome radio in this truck, which is another reason why I don't like the exhaust because what's, what's the point of putting in a nice radio system and then having an exhaust muffle it all out, right? So yeah, this is a uh, Kenwood Exelon. I'll put the uh, model in the description, but it has an Apple CarPlay, all that good stuff. I'm not gonna go into details about the radio, but it's a really nice radio. Have the cable coming out of the glove box connects to the radio for my uh, iPhone. I do have a subwoofer in the rear. I'll show you that. All of the factory speakers have been replaced with Rockford Fosgate speakers as well. Got the seat up. That's a 8 inch Rockford Fosgate speaker. You can see I also have Opti 7 LEDs under the seats. Also here right under the radio I have a scan gauge. This thing is very useful. You can look it up and see what all it does. I'm not gonna go through all the details, but you can track your mileage. You can see your water temperatures, your air intake temperatures, um, your miles per gallon, your instantaneous. You can read DTC codes. You can clear your own codes. And yeah, the list goes on. It's a really inexpensive, uh, helpful tool to have in your vehicle. Oh, I have the little Rockford Foss gate. That's your subwoofer and adjust your base right there on the fly. All the interior lights have been replaced with LEDs as well. My paint's, my clear coat's starting to chip here, right on the edge, I gotta repair that. Bug reflector, I didn't mention that in the beginning. I did add a bug reflector on the front, which I think looks good. It doesn't help worth a crap for bugs or rock chips, but I think it looks good. Got a little paint chip in here. And that's about it, I'm, I'm really pleased with this truck. I'm averaging about 16 to 17 miles to the gallon, which Definitely isn't great for a truck of this size. I mean, a mid-sized truck, 16 to 17 miles a gallon, but it's, it's not terrible. The truck is paid for, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than getting into a car note. I love the little truck, and the, and the all-wheel drive system works great. If you want to know more about that and some experiences I've had, check out that, that other video of mine that I mentioned previously. Also, on the front headlights, I replaced the uh, blinkers here with LED blinker lights and they also kind of double as daytime running lights all right guys i hope this video helped you out really done some cool things to this vehicle to kind of modernize it if you guys are interested in any of the things i just mentioned check out the link in the description below the truck's been rock solid like i said no problems you routine maintenance oil changes tires brakes i do use ebc brake pads on this truck and they work phenomenally can't recommend them enough something else i forgot to mention in the video but probably forgot some more stuff but anyway if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and for those of you that were expecting the national championship kayak fishing uh footage uh life happened and unfortunately i wasn't able to go which kind of sucks but it is what it is and we move forward so uh we'll be doing some fishing soon so you guys stay tuned and uh, thanks for your support check out my website www.venturetube.net you guys take care god bless come on Thank <laughs> you.